the winner for this year's Colby Challenge. The challenge starts with multiple teams, all the groups they want to register, then there are two grades of um, two level of selection, and now they made to the final. And today they're going to prepare their recipe with the ingredients that they were uh, offered to them to use. And then we have two important judges, as you know, to uh, judge this uh, competition, Tom Colicchio and Dana Cohen, very well known here in the States. The big prize for the winners are going to be, I mean, there's uh, some scholarship money and then there is uh, a winner trip to Italy, basically. It's going to be a, a week uh, trip. We'll fly to Rome, the next day we'll drive to Perugia, for, we'll go to the School of Chocolate the Perugina. From that moment on, they will be hands-on. So we will uh, alternate uh, time in the kitchen with uh, visiting historical place, visiting our region, which is Molise, that is home, uh, our home for Colorita. They're going to prepare and they're going to walk to the stage with their dishes ready. The judge will uh, taste both of them and at the end we'll know who's the winner. We're making an olive oil gelato sundae with a strawberry and balsamic compote, also with a polenta crumble, in addition to a basil infused whipped cream, basil seeds and a crunchy polenta cookie on the side. Me and my partner are both totally ready. We're excited, just a little bit nervous, but we just hope it comes it comes out. We'll be happy with whatever outcome. We're just we're just really happy to have to have been part of it. So this is the final round. Are you ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. So yeah. And what are you going to make? A polenta lasagna. It's not lasagna because there's only two layers, but um, we're going to have sausage, some eggplant, some agrodolce onions, so you know, we're going gonna to try, I guess. <laughs> have you already made it before? Yeah, twice before. Once with our chef and once by ourselves and our chef just kind of watched to make sure, you know, we were okay, asked any questions we needed. What are you going to be making? We're making a deep fried polenta, a sweet and savory deep fried polenta. That sounds so good. And did you already make this before? Yes. Uh, did you make up this dish? We based it off of a dish that we found. So we tweaked it and made it our own. Originally the recipe was supposed to be grilled, but we said, okay, let's deep fry it and make it something different. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I thought all the dishes were really, really great. I mean, there's some basic stuff I look for when I'm, when I'm judging dishes. One is it seasoned properly, is it cooked properly? And I have to say, the chefs did a great job on those dishes. They, everything was cooked nicely, prepared nicely, and the seasoning was all spot on, whether it's sweet or savory. And I was just really impressed overall by the, by the quality of the, of the dishes. I thought the dishes for the Calvita Challenge were amazing. All three of them were delicious, which is really important, right? Because something can be well thought out or very pretty, but then not delicious at all. And so they seemed to care about flavor first. Uh, they did a great job with the ingredients, and I loved how different the three were. Like they, it's not as though they borrowed each other's ideas and tried to one up. 
you know, having one savory was great, the parfait, beautiful, and then the little plum cake. The winner for this year's Colabita Challenge is just rice. What made you choose the winner? The gelato, there was no flaws. The gelato itself had the, the right texture. Um, it, it, it had some fruitiness from the olive oil and also a little bite as well. The compote was also wasn't too sweet. Um, the textures were all really good. I just thought that dish was just ready to go. I mean, if I sit down in, in a great restaurant and had that for dessert, I would have been very happy. I came last year to the Calvita Challenge and I had the, three dish, the five dishes from the students and I thought, oh my goodness, this is as good as some of the food that I've had when judging Top Chef or other judging um, gigs that I've done and I thought, these kids are amazing. I think that these kids are like, going to be the best of the best and you can see it in these dishes but you can just see it walking the halls, the quality of the education, the quality of the externships and internships, the support from the board, all of these things together combined to give these kids the best opportunity to be the best they can possibly be.